This holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Today we are remembering St. Polycarp. He was a bishop and martyr. He was one of the earliest martyrs that the church uh, celebrated, born in the year 69 AD. And uh, St. John the Apostle was still around that time. And so St. Polycarp was baptized by St. John, and he became St. John's uh, disciple. Eventually, he became a bishop of Smyrna, which is a part of present-day Turkey. And uh, during the Christian persecution, he was arrested as a bishop, and he was burned at the stake. But the uh, story says that he would not die being burned, so they stabbed him to death. Let us approach God's table with humble hearts and ask him for forgiveness for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of all creation, who were pleased to give the Bishop St. Polycarp a place in the company of the martyrs, grant through his intercession that sharing with him in the chalice of Christ, we may rise through the Holy Spirit to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From, from all their distress, distress God, God rescues, rescues the, the just. just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. From all, from all their, their distress, distress God, God rescues, rescues the just. The just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From, from all, all their, their distress, distress God, God rescues, rescues the, the just. just. Praise, 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but in every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive them, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. The prayer, Our Father, is one of the many beautiful gifts that Jesus left with his disciples and left for us to pray. He was asked by his apostles, teach us to pray. And so he told them, when you pray, you do not need to like talk like pagans do. And he probably was also referring to the, the habits of the Pharisees, thinking that elaborate prayer is you know, something that will move God to grant their petitions. Jesus says, your father knows what you need even before you ask him, which is very true. One important thing is that Jesus taught us to call God Father. In the olden times, of course, uh, many thought God was a powerful God which, who was so scary and out of reach. But Jesus tells them, no, he is a father, just like your father, and he cares. And so he gave them this prayer. You don't have to agree with me, but I have my own personal uh, way of looking at this prayer. Like I said, you don't have to agree with me, but this is how I look at it. Uh, I've always thought this prayer has two parts. The first part, from the beginning until on earth as it is in heaven, I always thought that that part was simply uh, giving praise and honor to God. Father in heaven, may your name be glorified, be hallowed. May your kingdom come acknowledging his power over us. And may your will be done like recognizing that we are God's, well, creation, God's subjects. And we are under his power and his will is always supreme, superior over ours. And then the second part for me is the part when we ask for something. If you notice, whenever I'm asked to lead a prayer, I always start with giving praise God, or giving praise to God first. Like, we don't kneel right away and say, as soon as we kneel, we ask, God, solve my problems. God, give me my wishes. God, Give me money, things like that. No. I give praise first. Father, you're good. You're great. Thank you. I praise you. I thank you. And I think that's, you know, that's something that uh, is essential. That's how Jesus 
taught us to pray. Give him praise first and then ask for your needs, trusting that the Father, because he knows what you need, will give you what you actually need. The first petition is, give us this day our daily bread. Well, God cares for our needs as well. Like Jesus showed that he cared for the needs of the people. Remember, he fed the multitude when the multitude uh, was hungry. When they were hungry in, in the wilderness, he cared for the sick, healed them. And forgive us all trespasses. Beautiful challenge. Even Jesus, uh, at the end of the gospel, gave emphasis on forgiveness. It's like we beg for forgiveness from God, but we say, as we forgive those who trespass against us, we beg for forgiveness. We have to forgive. It's like if you don't forgive the others of their sins against you, then you have no right to ask forgiveness from the Father, almost like that. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Like, save us. Save us. Don't let us end up, you know, in destruction. Like, we want to be with you. Going back to the first petition, give us this day our daily bread. Of course, it's easy to interpret it as God, you know, we asking God to give us our needs in this world. Nothing wrong with that. And we can also look at it as asking God to give us the most important bread of all. The one who said, I am the bread of life. It's almost like saying, give us Jesus, our daily bread. Give us Jesus every day. Remember the words of uh, Saint Mother Teresa, when she was asked, what, what is your most ardent prayer? And she said, my most ardent prayer to the Father is to give me Jesus, only Jesus, always Jesus. And so we, when we pray, we pray that we may have, may always have Jesus in our hearts. With humble hearts, we bring our prayers before the Lord. For all the members of the church, may the power of God's word embolden us in bearing abundant fruit. Let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> For civic leaders, may the word of the Lord be the water that makes their labors fruitful and just. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who struggle in their prayer life, may they be comforted in the knowledge that God hears their distress and knows what they need before they ask. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us continue praying for those who are suffering, especially during this time of the pandemic, the sick, the dying, and those who lost their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us, may God transform our lives into witnesses of his goodness, truth, and beauty. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died in the peace of Christ, may they one day rise with him to eternal life. For Eliseo Dizon, And for the soul of Lupe Geyer, for whom this mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, accept these prayers and answer them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit to the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Polycarp overcame every book bodily torment through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Polycarp, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end. We acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis R. Pope, Thomas our Bishop, Edward his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that you the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With confidence in the words of Jesus, who taught us to call God our Father, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr, St. Polycarp, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, a Prince of the Heavenly Host, with the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And have a blessed day, everyone.